usually not nervous speaking to big crowds, but today I am. I think it's because I think you're all awesome. So I just want to make a good impression. Um, so um, thank you for having me. I'm sorry that I cannot pick up on the positivity in the beginning now of my speech, because aside from climate changes, our planet is also facing other challenges. One of them being pollution and the scarcity of resources. Water, in particular, is one of the major um, needs for our planet. Currently, we have 1.8 billion people living without access to clean drinking water. And by 2025, scientists predict that it'll be 40% of the world's population that won't have access to clean drinking water. Our population is growing Many of the distinguished speakers previously talked about that as well, but currently we're at 7.3 billion people, but by 2050, we'll be 9.7 billion. So we have major issues in front of us. And why am I talking about that at a fashion forum? What does that got to do with our industry? Well, the fact of the matter is that the fashion industry is one of the world's largest industries. It's a great thing, it's an amazing industry, we all love it by heart. But it's also one of the world's most resource demanding. We're highly challenged when it comes to the use of pesticides. Cotton is the most um, using of pesticides aside from, from corn. And water usage in the dyeing processes, in the whole manufacturing and finishing of products is horrendous. It takes 2,000 liters of water to create one kilo of cotton. And one kilo of cotton will make us one T-shirt and one pair of jeans. So obviously, there's a lot of challenges when it comes to this. Then there is the wastewater, chemicals. The World Bank estimates that the global textile industry is accountable for 17 to 20 percent of the industrial water pollution. So that's on our side, up to 20 percent. And then, I haven't even talked about the social implications the ethical implications, the fact that we have a constant search for low input prices, high profits, and shorter lead time. And that also contributes to low wages, poor working conditions, crap safety, we all remember Rana Plaza, slavery, illegal refugees, child labor. So the list is long. And our industry really needs to focus on this. So why am I so into this? I think this is a really personal matter for me. I grew up by parents who taught me that people are born equal. But the fact of the matter is we're not. We don't have the same rights or the same conditions for life. But they also taught me that I had to play an active role in the society that I'm part of. And that it matters what I do. It matters what I think. It matters what I say. It matters what I read, and it matters where I spend my money. Of course, it also matters where we vote, but I would argue that all those other things are more important than the actual voting of a politician. Sometimes we can feel paralyzed when watching a film like Leonardo just did, paralyzed by the overwhelming complexity of the whole situation, paralyzed by the fact that our planet is in such bad stage. And I think sometimes that paralyzation makes us a little weak at home, and we think we cannot affect this change. But I would argue that we can. And I would argue that the fashion industry could be one of those players who will actually make that change. The world is in need of innovators. Innovators who can make change. And I think the fashion industry has that possibility to work proactively together on creating change. And if you then think of it, how cool the fashion industry is. It's one of the most powerful industries, alone by the fact that we have that reach. It can make all of us change our minds. All of a sudden, we like a different color. Why? Why do we all of a sudden think a person is cool? That a brand is nice? It has a power to affect the way we think and even behave. And I think that is what makes fashion the most interesting industry in the world, because it's not only one of the world's largest, it might also be the most powerful. And right now, a whole generation is watching our industry. So what exactly is it we're telling them? 
to continue consuming, buy more, cheaper, cheaper, Black Friday? What's that about? Cyber Monday? Is that the message we want to share with the world? There is an elephant in the room, and the lady from India said it, consumerism. We have to talk about that, and I know it's a super provocative agenda, especially for an industry that is, you know, is making the business by creating needs that doesn't even exist. But we do need to talk about it. How much more do we need? We're all approaching Christmas. How much more stuff do you actually need? Or the people around you? And I know that that's difficult to talk about, but we have to talk about longevity. How long can things last? We have to talk about quality. We have to talk about how we respect goods and how we keep them. We have to talk about the maintenance phase, how much we wash, how much we dry clean, and so on. And I think there is a possibility to talk about sustainable fashion model, a business model that entails a respect for people and planet. Um, environmentalists say that the fashion industry, or sorry, that um, the responsibilities for environmental pollution are population, technology, and consumption. And I think the reason consumption is the one that is focused on the least is that it is the one that is most difficult to change. Leonardo just said it. He doesn't think it's going to change. Actually, neither do I. It, it's rooted in our culture. Um, it will have severe economic effects. I mean, a drop of demand in products will create recession, loss of jobs, even depression, massive, massive unemployment. But my take on this complexity is that even though we cannot stop the train, we don't have to give up. We can make possible, possible, positive change. I honor the fact that the industry is creating jobs, that we are part of a big scheme, we're a huge part of um, the economy, and we're contributing to growth and prosperity. But there are also a way to do that with less impact on people and the planet. I'm an optimist by heart. Since 2007, when I've worked on this agenda, I've seen numerous solutions to minimize water, chemicals, lowering energy, improving living conditions. We can work with new fibers, recycling, reuse, the whole circular economy, cradle to cradle, are some of the solutions. Automatization, new ways of doing business, new ways of sourcing, new ways of controlling supply chain. It all comes down maybe to the price. Are companies willing to invest in new technologies that will make this happen? And are consumers willing to pay? One thing that's key here, it is about product. I don't think people will buy fashion to save the world. I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy a jacket if I didn't love it. I'd buy a tomato if it was organic and less red, but I wouldn't buy a dress that I didn't fall in love with just because it was sustainably made. So I think there's an industry task here. We need to present a sustainable choice to the consumers. It's all about the nice products. So, to sum up, this is not a philanthropic quest for me. For me, this is big business. This is the way I think we should define and think about our industry in the future. We have a major issue but we also have major solutions out there. The challenges are global. We can solve them globally. But it requires that we pull forces, that we work together proactively, and that we address these issues. They have to be addressed by the leaders, the managers and the leaders of businesses, academia, the photographers, the magazines, the media. Everybody needs to be addressing this. So, hey, you guys needs to be addressing these issues. We cannot wait for the millennials to do this. It's on our. It will be too late to wait for the next generations. We are the ones in power. I really believe that you can spearhead this movement. We can create a sustainable fashion industry that is equally desirable and lovely and fashionable. And I think on a personal level, looking at all you guys, we're adults. 
we're beyond anxiety, who am I, where do I fit into the world? We're there, we're it. We have surplus on life's bottom line. We have the resources. The question is, what do you want to use that resource for? What is going to be our legacy? In what state do we want to deliver the planet to the next generations? To me, I think that power that is in this room comes with a responsibility. A responsibility to uh, make change. And I think we can do better. Doing better never looked this good. We can make this work for a different fashion industry beyond the next season. I believe that if we change fashion, we can change everything. Thank you.